Hello folks, this is your 2018 October November uh, paper 2-3 and the question number is 3. This question is concerned with the chapter, um, let us say, dynamics here. Yeah? Uh, dynamics. So the first question says that, so question number A says that, a state Newton's second law of motion. So we can just state it as uh, the uh, resultant force or the net force is uh, directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum of the body. Now, number B, it says that a toy rocket consists of a container of water and compressed air. So, this is the container, this compressed air, as shown in figure 3.1. Water is pushed vertically downward through a nozzle, nozzle by the compressed air, by the compressed air. So, it pushes water and comes through this uh, nozzle. The rocket moves vertically upward. So, direction movement is vertically upward. The nozzle has a circular cross section of radius 7.5 millimeter. So, R is equal to 7.5 millimeter. So in uh, meters, it is equal to 0.0075 meters. The density of water is uh, rho equal to 1000 kz per meter cube. Assume that the water leaving the nozzle has a shape of a cylinder. So just for simplicity, we are doing this of radius 7.5 millimeter. That means no uh, space for air uh, remaining there. And at a constant speed of 13 meter per second, V equal to 13 meter per second related to the rocket. Show that the mass of water leaving the nozzle in the first 0 0.20 seconds, so time equal to 0 0.20 seconds, after the rocket launch is of 0.46 kg. So we have to find the mass of water uh, that leaves the nozzle in the uh, 0 0.20 second after the rocket launch. So what we have uh, uh, here is the mass of water should be given by this is equal to uh, uh, is equal to rho into volume of water coming out and that's equal to this is rho uh, this volume is equal to a a area into uh, area into length so if I consider the cylindrical region of water as this water as this so the volume of water will be equal to uh, this is the cross sectional area this is this into the height or length so rho into a into l now the length of water column in this time should be equal, should be equal to rho is okay uh, a is equal to pi r square l is equal to velocity into time velocity of water into time so since the velocity of water can be considered to be uniform while uh, while emitting from the <coughs> nozzle uh, we must have uh, uh, l equal to vt from the formula s equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square a equal to 0. Now let's use the values here rho equal to 1000, 1000, uh, then uh, uh, pi into r is 0 0.0075 square, uh, then v, v is 13, then time equal to 0 0.20. So when I do the calculations uh, in the calculator, it will give us, so first, 1000 uh, into uh, shift pi into uh, 0 0.0075 square into 13 into 0 0.20. So this becomes, according to the calculator, its value is equal to 0 0.4544 kz. And it's nearly equal to 0 0.46 kilos. Uh, actually, 45 kilo actually. Sorry, uh, it is 45994. Uh, so it becomes 0 0.46 kg approximately when I use 2 SF. Now the next question, the next question is in the next page. The next question states that uh, find the change in momentum. Find the change in momentum of the mass of water due to leaving the nozzle. So for that I, what I need is the change of uh, momentum is so delta P is equal to uh, mass into delta v so it's equal to m into v minus zero because initially water can be considered to be at rest which it then moves to the velocity of uh, 30 meter per second after emission so the mass of water is as we have just got from the uh, problems it is zero point so equal to uh, mv that's equal to 0 0.46 sorry, 4594 into uh, the velocity is 13. So that's equal to 
So 0 0.4594 into 1330 is equal to 5.97. 5.97 kg meter per second, kg meter per second, which can be uh, constant Newton second, and this is equal to 5.97. Now, the force exerted on this mass of water by the rocket, so the force is equal to force is equal to change of momentum by the time elapsed. So change of momentum is uh, 5.97, and the time was uh, time was time was time was 0 0.20 seconds. So 0 0.20 seconds, and uh, this becomes this becomes well I calculation. So 5.97 divided 0 0.20. That's equal to 29.29. 9. Uh, actually 29.86 Newton so I can write it as 29.9 Newtons now number three uh, Sidney explained how Newton's law applies to the movement of rocket by the water so what happens here is uh, first the rocket exerts uh, rocket exerts force on water and the water also gives equal and opposite reaction force to the rocket which makes the rocket move in a, um, a reverse direction of water. So that's how we can uh, explain second law here, third law here. Now, number four is a bit uh, tough here. The container has a mass of uh, 0 0.20 kg container only. The initial mass of the water before the rocket was launched was uh, 0 0.70 kg. So the initial mass is equal to, initial mass is equal to mass initial is equal to mass of container 0 0.40 plus uh, initial mass of water that is 0 0.70 the mass of the compressed air in the rocket is negligible so it's true because uh, compared to the rocket and the water the air uh, air's mass is negligible assume that the resistive force in the rocket due to motion is also again uh, this is negligible so we have to find for the rocket at a time of 0 0.0 seconds of launching so that the total mass is 0 0.64 kg so the initial mass of different things are given here we have to find that after 0 0.20 seconds two seconds the total mass uh, remaining is uh, the total mass is 0 0.64 seconds so this question is relevant in the sense that uh, since uh, uh, this water uh, is uh, being continuously lost the total mass decreases so we have to find the mass after that 0 0.20 seconds so that means the initial mass was this much and we have lost some water and the amount of lost water is we have found here we have found here so this this much water has been lost so the mass of water remaining is mass of water remaining is mass of water remaining is equal to this initial initial mass minus the mass of water that has been that has been ejected or lost so that's equal to mi is 0 0.40 plus 0 0.70 minus this thing is uh, 0 0.46 0 0.46 so when you recall it becomes so this is uh, uh, so this will be equal to uh, uh, this is 1.1 1.10 so uh, minus 0 0.40 will be equal to uh, so 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 it's valuable in the calculus so it's, it's uh, our habit is very much spoiled here uh, so it's equal to 0 0.64 kg kg after doing calculations in the calculator now the last question uh, says so let me uh, go through this diagram once again here so this is the rocket here uh, there are two forces one is the force of gravity force of gravity mg and one is the upward force which is called as fu so the formula is the formula for finding acceleration is equal to the resultant force is equal to mass into acceleration then force is equal to uh, force up minus mg is equal to ma which gives us the force upward is equal to equal to this force this force so the rocket exerts this force on the mass of water and the mass of water also exerts the same force on the rocket so the upward force is equal to this much which is 29.86 so let me do it here so or 29.86 minus the mass right now is 0 0.64 into g is 9.81 equal to 0 0.64 into acceleration so when you do in the calculator so it will be equal to 
29.86 minus bracket 0 0.64 into 9.81 back close equal to divided 0 0.64 equal to it becomes uh, a is equal to 36 point 36.85 something something uh, meter per second square so it's equal to 36 36.9 meter per second square so 36.9 meter per second square so this is the value of the acceleration of the rocket at the moment that means when the mass uh, um, remaining is equal to total mass remaining is equal to 0 0.64 kg and one thing we have to remember is that uh, initially the A is uh, less it's because the total mass is heavy it goes on increasing because mass is being lost